you start going your own way. And, you know, if you're a kid, you're the weirdo. You're the weird one because you're different. Why are you different? Because you're not doing what everybody else is doing. And you are drawn into a different direction. You want, it doesn't feel right to you. Something inside you is awakened. Something inside you has become alert. And what happens also is on this path that you're starting to wake up to a screwed up program that everyone's doing and you're becoming aware and you start, your attention starts to go inwards and you're looking at yourself and you begin to discover your suffering. And there's a lot of suffering on this path is happening. So you start looking for help of why am I suffering? And a lot of the suffering is related to your childhood, that at your childhood maybe you've been abandoned, uh, you've been with abusive parents, uh, guardians, um, they beat you up, they sexually abused you, they left you, they shipped you from one home to another home. So there's a lot of emotional, psychological damages and scars that are left on our psyche. So now a lot of our behavior is based on what kind of damage has been inflicted on us. So you're persistent, you're keep going on your path you're not giving up and you are determined to overcome suffering you're determined to tackle this problem so you continue on your commitment on self-awareness path self-awakening and you keep going slowly slowly forward you enter into the spiritual market you're taking different courses doing different work uh, there's a lot of different stuff out there and uh, so you're checking things out and a lot of them are very helpful a lot of them help you to become self-aware to work on your issues and to get over your hang-ups So your awareness is expanding. You're starting to become more aware, more awake of the patterns, of the screwed up patterns. And what happens a lot of times is you go, you can only go to a certain point. You get to a point and then you hit a wall. And it seems like you can't get over the hump. You've done really well. You, kept, you keep going, going, going. But then you hit this wall. And you can't get over the hump. And that's where the frustration starts to come. Uh, the addictions. Uh, the dark side. That you're, you're faced because you can't go any more forward, you're stuck and everything starts to creep, creep up on you and show up. And some people call it the dark uh, night of the soul. Um, so you are in this place, you get to this place. And it's a very weird place. It's very dark. It's very confusing. And it's would say it happens to almost all of us. Almost 99% of the spiritual seekers, they arrive at this place and they hit this wall at one point or another. Maybe they hit this wall a couple of times in their lives. And they don't know what to do. They don't know where to go, where to seek help. And they're sincerely trying to, they're struggling, but it sometimes appears 
that there is no way out. And it's a very scary, very dark place to get into. But in the same token, it's, I would say, it's a very good uh, place to arrive to. And as confusing as it appears to be, as difficult as it is, because believe me, I've been there and I've struggled with it for a long time, and I know that place very well. And it also has a purpose. It also has a function that is a necessity in this path of awakening that you're, you're going through to get to that place. Now, you are more, you're in this deep, dark place that you're stuck. And it seems like there's no light. So what happens is you begin to suffer and suffer more. And a lot of you think about committing suicide, taking your life. You feel like life is meaningless. Uh, there's no hope, there's nowhere to go, it's all bullshit, and you keep spiraling down into the dark place. But something very good comes out of it. What happens, it, it increases your awareness. You're becoming a lot more sensitive. Your senses are pretty sharp because you're suffering. And you may even get stuck into alcoholism or drug addiction, taking pills, putting Prozac or um, all kinds of different things. But something has shifted inside you. Something of value is cooking here. And that is your availability, your openness to the grace. You become very alert and very open to the help, the divine help. because you're desperate. You have hit the rock bottom and you're in complete desperation. And it doesn't matter if you have, you're coming from your social status, doesn't matter. You have a lot of money, uh, you can travel, you can buy anything you want, uh, you can sleep with anybody you want. Uh, it doesn't matter because everything is meaningless at this point to you. Nothing is really important. Nothing means anything. You don't care. So it's not just lack of finances. For everybody, it's a different story. Some people need to go there because of lack of money and desperation in financial world. Some people have everything and they go there. So now, because you're really suffering, and you're so desperate, when the grace comes, means again, with grace, the love, the power of love, the Almighty, of that which is always here, 